Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mensch. In most of my videos, I encourage people to download my GitLab repository and to use my Zesh configuration file. Now, the thing is, is that most of my aliases in there are made to work with Pac-Man, which do not conflict. If you use them in a Debian-based system, they just won't work. The thing is, is that in my Zesh configuration file, there's about two or three aliases in there that actually conflict with a Debian-based system. So that if you use my Zesh configuration file in a Debian-based system, when you open the terminal, you're going to get error message. Now, it will still work, but there'll always be an error message on there. And in many of my Debian-based videos, when I install the Zesh configuration file, then I have to go through on video on how to fix it. I have to go and comment out two or three lines in the Zesh configuration file or delete them. So finally, I cleaned up my Zesh configuration file and I made a Zesh configuration file to work with Debian based systems. So I deleted all the aliases that conflict with the Debian based system and I just deleted all the uh, aliases that have the word Pac-Man in them even though they may not necessarily conflict when you're using them in Debian. So if you're using my Zesh configuration file in a Debian based system which would be Linux Mint, MX Linux or pure Debian, you should update your Zesh configuration file. And this is how you would do it. So I am in a virtual machine of pure Debian with the awesome window manager. And of course, the awesome window manager is not by default. This awesome window manager has my configuration file in it. And I'm going to open up a terminal. So I'm just going to use my mouse. Let's go into text term. Oh. And see, this is the error messages I'm talking about. So these error messages are there because my Zesh configuration file was made to really was made to work with Arch Linux. So if you have downloaded and are using my configuration files from my GitLab repository, you should update them. Because sometimes I go in there and I make changes and I fix things. And today I cleaned up the Zesh configuration file, and I made one specifically to work with Debian-based systems. So it'll work with Linux Mint, MX Linux, and Pure Debian. And I took everything related to Pac-Man, I just deleted the lines. So you should update it, and the way to update it would be this. You could go into LS, and you can see you have my mensh directory is right here. So if you don't have my mensh directory and you want to download it, you would do clone https slash slash gitlab dot com artibus one mensh Dot get hit enter and it would download it. But if you already have my mensh directory in there and you want to update it, then you would first of all you'd be able to see it here, mensh, and then you want to cd into it, cd mensh. Now you're in it, and then you just do git pull and hit enter. Now if I haven't changed anything in my repository since you last downloaded it. Then when you do git pull and you hit enter, it's just going to say up to date or nothing to change. But if I have made changes, then it's going to download the changed files. So let's enter. And there you go. It's downloaded the new files. So so now that we've updated my mensh directory, what you want to do is ls it, 
and you want to CD into this Debian folder. Okay, so you're going to CD into Debian, then you're going to LL, and you're going to see in this Debian folder, I have a Zesh RC file, and that's the new one, or the one that I revised, and I deleted everything related to Pac-Man out of it. So this one will not have any conflicts or errors in a Debian-based system. So you're going to copy that to your home directory, and you should also copy it into your root directory as well. And I'm going to close this now. And it should work. When I open up my terminal, I shouldn't get any error messages. I'm just going to use my mouse to open up the terminal. Go into text term. Voila. No error messages. So now if we go into root, we're going to get error messages because we didn't copy the revised Zash configuration file into root. So let's try it. Let's type, do an SU, type in my password. See, you get the error messages. So we can copy the revised uh, file into root in the terminal. But just to show you how to do it in Nemo and to make it easier, I'm going to do it in Nemo. So while I'm in the root, I'm going to type in Nemo. And it's going to make that full screen. I'm going to go file system. I'm going to go home. I'm going to click this on show hidden files. And I'm going to go to Zesh and I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go back to file system. And go to root and I'm going to paste it in and I'm going to replace it I'm going to close this down I'm going to close this down and we're going to go back into X term now we're going to go into root at shoot type in my password and voila I don't get the error message in root so that's how you fix it. Now I'm just going to close this. Oh, and one more thing. Now that we've updated my GitLab repository in this virtual machine, I'm just going to show you what happens when you try to update it after it's been updated. So let's CD into Mensch. And let's do a git pull. Git pull and as you can see we are already up to date so that's how I fixed my Zesh configuration file to work better with Debian based systems and if you downloaded my Zesh configuration file and tried using it on a Debian based system and you got an error messages and you didn't know how to fix it and it caused you problems I apologize and encourage you to do a git pull I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. I am the Linux Mensch.